If you seen this one by two, how many rockets would you think it'd take to raid? Two doors and a garage door, so say five rockets. Well, this one by two is guaranteed 10 rockets and easy upgrade by changing the second door to a garage door and it'd be 12 rockets. Okay, it's so going in through the front, we've got a standard airlock. Then we come in, we've got three furnaces into usable honeycomb. Our first bit of loot storage is three large boxes and one small box. Moving on, we've got our workbench and glass window protecting our main loot room. This loot room holds four large boxes, but where do we go? Where's, where's the rest of the base? Behind these metal walls. And this is our transfer loot box, hidden out of sight. Once you're gonna log off for the night, place your best loot in that box. F1 kill, spawn inside the suicide bunker. After the large buck increase of capacity, suicide bunkers have become a lot more viable. You can transfer a hell of a lot of loot via one loot box. And as you can see, the upkeep on this base is absolutely tiny. So, are you going to use a suicide bunker? I certainly am. Okay guys, let's get into this build video. So I'm going to use build grade of stone just to speed the video up, but anything that needs upgrading above stone, I will show you. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a square foundation and I'm going to put another one, so standard one by two, and then this triangle here is going to be the airlock. This triangle is where your furnaces are going to go. This is going to be your loot room. And these two here are just honeycomb. Okay, so this is the floor print that you need. Okay, once you've got that, we can progress. Okay, so what I do now is I just go around the outside and make it so you're 100% sealed in. It's your airlock. Then you can make the suicide bunker. Okay, what we do here is we're going to go around honeycombs and on this here we're going to just do two we're going to leave this triangle open okay um then what we're going to do is do some half walls you can do it all just stood from down here you don't need to jump and the roofs you can do from down here and this triangle do it all from standing down now you don't need to jump to get it all done so once we've done that and check your airlock on um we are safe now to mess around inside this base so what we're going to do next is we're going to put two walls and we're going to make these three sheet metal. Once that's sheet metal, we're going to pop the wall here on the left. We're going to grab a TC and we're just going to place it in this corner and get it nice tucked in the corner like so. And you put a sleeping bag down. There we go. And you can put a large box here if you want. So then what we're going to do is going to come up here and place a triangle roof in twig. Make sure you do this in twig, guys. Um, I'll put it in twig as well, just for the video. So you pop the twig there, that makes this wall cut in half. Then we're gonna put some more twig. Like so, and then we're gonna get a large box. And this large box needs to go sort of roughly about here, I think. And then we should able to place our wall up there and I think we might have it out a little bit too far. We're going to about to find out. So we just place that, break this twig. See that to me is poking out too far. So I am actually going to redo that. You would pick this box up. I'm just going to break it. So the box was in the right place here. But we just needed to come in a bit more. I think it's because I last time I done it, it was in wood. This is in twig. Let's try here. Okay. 
And there we go, that's quite nice. I'm quite happy with that. So we'll keep that. And once we've done that, jump up here, make this sheet, this sheet metal, and then pop a roof on and make that sheet. Okay, we now have an eight rocket suicide bunker with our transfer loot box. Um, this sheet metal is still accessible. We do just need to check though that we can access that from here. Yeah, we can. Okay, so that's fine. Just want to check that you can do that while you've still got your timer to break these walls. If otherwise, you don't want to have to be soft siding that out. Okay, so next up, what we're going to do is we're going to place our furnaces in here. Um, two half walls facing out. I'm going to turn build grade back on in a second. There we go. So just remove the bottom half wall and put a low wall where you can access all three of them furnaces and it still acts like honeycomb. Turn build grade back on. Okay, next up we want a roof up here. And a big half wall to make the shelf. Put the shelves in, remove the twig. There we go. Then what we're going to do is place some boxes up here. So we're going to have four large. This. And then the last one we can place in a minute. And then what we do is place that there. Door frame. Grab a garage door. Okay. So what we want to do next is get some loop storage up the top. So to do this, you do just just take up with you enough materials because um, you get stuck up here when you do this, okay? So this is the problem. So we break that twig once we're up. Um, it doesn't matter. You can pass the loop down. So what we're going to do is half all that triangle here. Then we're going to grab a large box. Place that on the back. So we're going to place one large box here. Another large box next to it. We should able to get a small in. Um, let's remove this half wall. There we are. Place that there. Then put this half wall up. Okay, and then all you need to do is keep enough on you for... Ah, uh, put it in. Which box is blocking it, that one? Okay. Try that again. Okay, I've got to show you how to do it. Probably because I haven't brought this box through the wall perfectly, so I'm just going to clip that through. B should work now. Why that one's won't go further back. Still working. There you go. It's just a bit of a bad placement on the first try. And I've messed that up. But anyway, you can do it, guys. So I'm not going to waste any more time doing that. Then what you want to do is just place everything in this box apart from uh, 50 wood and 200 metal. Uh, probably make that stone. So I think, I don't know how much it costs to make stone. Let's find out. Sorry, guys, I didn't. Uh, there you are, 300 stones. You want 50 wood, 300 stone on you. Do that, and then you're going to have to kill yourself, okay? And then when you kill yourself, spawn in your base, and then you come and grab the loot from here. Okay, so next up, what I like to do is get my workbench. Workbench goes over here. Like so, with a campfire. There we go. And then what I like to do is, obviously, this is how you pass the Keep the best loot in here. So if you start getting raided, you can just pull the loot, spawn inside and pull the loot in. Or when you log offline, you transfer your loot in there. So use it as online storage when you're online. But when you get off, make sure you pull it into the bunker. And then all you need to do is before you get offline, once you put all your best loot in there, just put a box there. Most people will probably come in and won't assume that there is a transfer loot box. You can put a glass window on there as well. That will always help. And then what we'll do is get um, a research table. Do you like to have these, especially if this is your first base, you're going to want to be 
then those EPs, and then I like to put the bear rug here, get it on, there we go, you should get 100% comfort by this door, there we go, 100% comfort, so I'll get me 100% health, and that is pretty much it guys, obviously you can do any more in here, I mean, you soft-sided this app, but a garage door, you can put four boxes here, jump on. Um, totally up to you guys, but this, I found this is plenty of storage, especially for a solo, and if you've got two or three of these bases, um, you ain't getting deleted from the server. So, yeah, um, this is one of my favourite base designs, this and one other one. I absolutely love it. Let me know in the comments if you love it. Um, yeah, let me know what you would do differently. Do you think this will work? Um, do you think that people aren't going to find the transfer loot box. Oh, anyways guys, this is the end of the build video and I'll catch you guys later.